Hi everyone, it's Naomi from Fluffy Boots Crochet Creations. That is the third time we had to do the intro. The first time I did it again, I forgot my name of the channel, not my name yet, but I have done that before. And then the second time, Winnie, as I'm trying to say, you know, my intro, she's walking in the door going, no, no, because that is how she is when she thinks that I'm going to be on the video and she is not. Annie who's nanny. So I'm sure you're hearing some crinkling. So let me tell you, I got in some exciting stuff. Yes, yes I did. Now, firstly, I got in um, two of my subscriptions. I believe they are for April because it's from the UK so they're behind um, it doesn't say on this one but I think it's April and I got my first ever look at this package I shine it's bigger than my head okay yeah so we're gonna have some fun opening some yarn and checking things out. I'm trying not to knock over my my light. So let's get started, shall we? Well, I only have two um, subscriptions in right now. I have one more on order, and it's for May because I was able to start getting back my color of my fiber. I had to not get it for a couple months finances being as they are and then I have some other orders out I went a little bit crazy just tiny as a bit crazy <laughs> on ordering yarn this month so I got my ice yarn and then I got my um, my subscriptions and I ordered some yarn from Thrist at Full Spectrum, and then, oh, and then I bought, ordered a bunch of stuff off Timu, and it's not all yarn. Actually, I think 90% of it is not yarn, <laughs> but Timu gets you, okay? So, here's my little thing with Timu, okay? I have, it's, I do this with almost everybody. I have it to where I order, or when I sub, when I sign up for notices, I go ahead and, okay, hold on, I am fixing my hair. I looked at the camera and I'm like, what the heck is going on? Your hair looks so funky. Yeah, okay, sorry. What was I saying? Oh, so when I sign up to get notices from companies, I generally sign up for um, text messages as well as emails only because I don't always get to my emails right away and there's times that they have a sale going that I don't know about <laughs> yeah huh I'm telling the story not you you can't tell the story you don't know the story you're a kitty I know hard to believe sorry She's got sass today. Yes, you do. Okay, sorry about that. <laughs> um, but they have this really bad or good marketing, however you want to put it, where they'll send a message saying, sorry, this is sold out. And so you're the, that's the first part you read. So you click on it and they'll say almost. And you're like, seriously? And then they'll be like, get it now and we'll give you this discount. And you're like, oh, you're giving me a discount? Okay, let me think. Can I do it if I do the discount? So then I get all excited thinking, well, I wonder what the discount is going to be. And then you go, and the next thing you know, you've got. So, yeah, it it's very evil. Evil, I say, evil. But very good for them when marketing because it makes me click and I fall for it about 
Well, this last time I fell for it three times in a row. Because <laughs> I got discounts of, you know, like major discounts. Like one of the things I got was 90% off. And I'm like, ooh, 90% off? Look at me go. <laughs> yeah. So, that's my guiltiness of, of it. I try not to spend a huge amount on Timu. But I did. And now, oh, here she comes. She's realized that I'm on the actual camera. So now she's going to pop her head up. There it is. Can I help you, Winnie? Please don't knock the camera over. Anyhow. Oh, and then I have some stuff coming from Joanne. I got some yarn. The Rave yarn coming. I know everybody else has already got it. I'm sorry. I can only order it when I have the money and when they have it in. And they had some... You know, really cool. Um, theirs is called Halloween, but for me it's just gothic things, so I had to buy some stuff. So, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> no, Winnie, you don't, I'm not opening that quiet yet. She's very excited for the bag for some reason. No, Winnie, stop. Okay. Let us get to it. All right. Winnie, sorry. I may have to start this over. Are you done? Okay. All right. I think she's settled again. So, first of all, I got my very pretty minis from my UK. Um, this is, the first one is from Crafty Wool UK. And it comes in this little nice pack. Isn't that nice? Now, I do like these. It's smaller. So, um, they don't take up a huge amount of my mailbox. Plus, for me, it's not a bad price whatsoever to get it. And let us look at it, shall we? I remember how I undo this. You pause you for a second, I'll figure it out. Okay, got that ready. But the nice thing about this is it does make it thinner when it comes to you, is what I was trying to say. So it is two minis. And because it comes flat, it's not um, wound into mini hanks. So I do have to kind of fiddle with it a little. But here's the first one. It's a nice, pretty blue. Kind of almost like a, I don't know, like maybe a soft sky blue. Very pretty. I like that. And then this is the other one. This one's in a little bit neater pile. Okay, there we go. Sorry. So it's got the pink and the green, and then it's got this really pretty kind of blue mix down here with the speckles on it. So I really like these. I have to say, every one I have gotten from him so far, I have loved. They have been beautiful. They have worked well together. I know that I can put them into... Um, a project together and they will all work wonderful so there's a very loose hank and let's see if I can hank this one up really quick here okay see so yeah I really do like his now he has two sites. You can go through the Etsy and buy the monthly through there and you have to just remember to go do it or you can go through um, his website that he now has and order through there and you, then you don't have to remember to put in the recurring payment. 
I go through Etsy because I've had bad experiences in the past of my um, recurring payments, trying to go in three to four days early, sometimes even two weeks early. So I always just choose it myself. One second, I need a drink. Sorry about that. <coughs> it's one of those uh, things you start talking and you dry out your mouth. So that's all I got right now from Adam at the Crafty Wool. As you see, I, I hang these both very different. They were just temporary, so I could put them aside. So I'm going to put those over there. Okay. Now, the next one I got is from Ruffles Yarn. This time I only got the Build a Blanket because I did make a couple of bigger orders this year on other things I wanted to, or not other. This month on other sites, so I just got the Build a Blanket. Plus, I think the, I think she didn't have the Lucky Dip in if I remember correctly. So, let's take a look here. Hi, Izzy. So again, this is my Build-A-Blanket minis. And this is also from the UK, and she only has, I believe only the Etsy store. But here's the first one. It's a lovely collection of blues and yellows and greens, but very soft tones. I really like that. And then this one of the pinks and the yellows. And a little tiny bit of green. Oops. <laughs> so it'll work. And the thing that she does offer all the time on hers is the fact that you can put these with her bigger hanks or her um, I think it's called a mystery ball I haven't got that yet which is a big old ball like this of just yarn I haven't got one of those yet but I like these they're very pretty and then I got oh I got the cutest little look at that look at that little mushroom that's cute and actually, I think I got, where did it go? I believe I saw one. And I did. Another little sticker. She likes stickers. So, I forgot to say about Adam's yarn, which is the Crafty Wool, the first two I show. Sorry, my brain's not really quite with me. It's Platinum Sock Mini, 75% Superwash Merino, 25% Nylon, recommends a 2 to 4 millimeter, middle, <laughs> try that again, 2 to 4 millimeter needle or hook, cool hand wash, dry flat, 20 grams, 85 meters approximately. And then on hers, they are a DK, and I want to say hers is a Superwash Merino and Nylon as well, but she doesn't have a label thing on these two. So that is hers, and then I have two more coming from each of them, they'll probably be here in the next couple weeks, and they will be for May. Right? Yes. <laughs> I have to always question it because I'm a month behind. I usually can't order, unfortunately, until towards the end of the month. So that means that by the time I get orders, everybody else has already shown them because I only get paid once a month. That's just how it is. All right, let me pause this and we'll open up the big ice bag so that you don't have to listen to the crinkly, crinkly, I don't know, crinkly, 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 I don't know, we'll say whatever it is. Izzy, where are you going? Sorry, my other cat now.
Okay, can you... Okay, let me see if she... Oh, no. Right as I go to reach frost. Alright, one second. Sorry, I had... I was trying to find the um, information on the first one I'm going to show you. So, this is one of their clearance ones. I'll put it up a little closer for you. It's a cotton... It is a 50 cotton, 50 acrylic. It is called um, Fetichia Cotton Neck Fine, three millimeter US um, for needle or hook. And it is a two fine, 50 grams or 175 meters. Or, never mind. 50 grams and 175 meters and if I remember correctly Crystal says they don't have yardage on this which makes sense since it's a that, you know Turkish company one moment so ice does sell a little different than what we're used to over here in the US which is they sell in pre-made packs they don't sell individual um, like if you went through Hobie or, um, some of the other international companies, they do sell in singles, but they sell in packs so that you get the better deal. And I also got a pair of knitting, circular knitting needles with it. So that was kind of cool. I wasn't expecting that. Hold on one second. I hate when I have to cough right after I start talking again. <laughs> so I'm going to say that's a nice two. It's not a bad feel. It's actually fairly soft. Um, being that it's cotton. And I think this will work because I was making a shawl that's a cotton acrylic as well. And I'm going to end up using all the black that I have, unfortunately. And this will work to replace... This will work to replace the black that I used for another project I have in mind that I wanted a cotton. So, awesomeness. Now, the next one I got is that Picasso yarn that everybody wants and everybody loves. I've never had, never tried, never felt, nothing. And I went, and the first time I went there, they had, you know, like four or five castles in. I went the other day, and they only had one color. And luckily it was a color I liked. Now, it's funny, most people really, really love the look of the rainbow, and they go nuts all for it, and they buy that up. And it's pretty, but it's not something that I naturally would gravitate towards. So instead, I want, well, let me, hold on, let me go look real quick which one it is. Okay, so the one that I got is called Picasso Turquoise Shades. The one that I really would like to get is the Picasso Black, Gray, and White, or the Picasso, which one was it? The blue shades, green, blue shades and green shades and white. And the other one that I really like is the lilac green shades and blue. So today though, I just got this and I, I'm going to tell you, I'm happy. I am. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Very pretty yarn. And it's so soft. I was not expecting it to be so soft. And it's got this, it's got a halo. So it's soft and it's got a halo. I almost wish I'd went ahead and bought another set of this. But I thought, no, I'll just go with the one. So of course now I regret that. <laughs> but it is 44% acrylic. 56% polyester, 50 grams, 115 meters. It is considered a size four. I don't really agree with that, but we'll talk about that in a second. It um, recommends a size 
five knitting needles. So now it could just be me, but I think that's a really light four. Is it just me? Let's see, do I have a four? No, but I have a three over here. Now tell me what you think. Whoopsie. Okay. So the darker is a three. That's a four. See what I mean? It's so much closer to a three than a four. But that's okay. I mean, as long as I know ahead of time. And I think I, I think that I know. I'm going to mention her again. But that's just because... I know her reviews, I trust her reviews on the ice yarns, and I believe she said that theirs is generally a little, um, their sizes don't quite match what we are, but I like it, I do, and I think it will be fun to work with. I haven't decided what I'm doing yet with this. Like I said, I wish I'd bought another one, but I didn't, that's how it is. So, put those over here. My bag ripped <laughs> before it got to me. So I it opened it up and I had all the balls. <laughs> but this pack comes with eight total. And then the next one I got, now this one, I'm hoping is going to work for what I want. I had bought date night. A while back, and I'm gonna pause so I can crinkle. Sorry, I felt the need to crinkle in private. <laughs> oh, I'm finding myself funny today. If you notice, I probably am not like super hyper and not very, you know, super loud or anything. It's because I have been struggling with my voice a lot lately, so I'm trying not to overuse it so that I can do lives coming up. <laughs> I was like, what? I don't care. Um, but I bought Date Night the like two or three months ago. I can't remember when. And I got the one they called Burl, which I don't agree with because it's more of gold. And I was just like, oh, what am I going to do with only three? Because that's all they had. And I thought, okay, I'll go back and see if I can buy another three. Which, of course, I couldn't because they were all sold out. So I was just like, dang it. So I've been, like, trying to figure out what I can do because I have an idea I want to do with it. It just may not come to fruition. I may have to change my plan for it, which is okay. You know, I can, I can do something else. So I remembered that I think I think it was Crystal I think it was Crystal was saying that they found that the ice yarns had a comparable one and I went through all the ice metallics and I'm like well which one do I think feels or looks the closest because obviously I can't feel they're in Turkey I, I can't you know I were just to fill their their yarn and then go back that'd be kind of weird <laughs> anyways I'm sorry I'm kind of weird right now so I went ahead and bought their shimmer which is this here and you can see it does have a very nice shimmer to it I think this is the yarn that Crystal used in her um Oh, it's an absolutely gorgeous shawl. It's on my make list. Oh, shoot. What shawl was it? I'll look it up and I'll put it, you know, right here. But it's called Shimmer. That's actually the name of it. And it is... Let me go see. So, I'll go look it up real quick. Because it, I have it up on my screen, so it'll take just, like, a moment or two to go over here. 
and it came with six total. So it is um, black, obviously, in case you can tell. And it is 40 Polymade, 60% metallic um, Lorax, 2.3 millimeter to uh, US03, that's for knitting needles. The weight is 25 grams or 0.88 ounces per ball, 160 meters, 174 yards per ball. It is called Super Fine Sock Fingering Baby because, you know, everybody does say different. And they have quite a few colors in and just for a second let me go look and all of their colors are in so they have a, a really pretty shimmer turquoise that's new shimmer cop copper I almost bought that I was like so close to buying that one I thought oh would that look good for me and then I'm like I don't know and so I decided to go with the black um they have two shimmer coppers. They have one that looks more like an antique gold or antique copper. And then they have the newer copper, which is very true, like brand new copper look. And then they have shimmer maroon, sax blue, shimmer blue, shimmer purple, shimmer red, shimmer pink, and shimmer fuchsia. So a lot of colors and it's definitely not a bad feel now I wouldn't necessarily wear this alone against my skin but for what I'm thinking it will be okay I'm trying to find let me get in the sorry so yeah I would agree with that that's definitely a super fine which is perfect for what I want to do. Like I said, I'm not a hundred percent sure on what I'm doing with the gold, but this I'm pretty sure I have enough. If not, I may have to buy another bag, but that's okay too. It's not something that I'm doing like tomorrow. So, I'll be okay if I have to buy another bag. Oops. But they're very cute. And this one at least. Nice this bit. So I'm going to put that over there for now. Alright, so the next thing I got is I wanted to try a couple of their cakes. So I think, I just wanna double check here. Okay, they're both the more mohair cake. I thought they were, but then it was like, are they? Are they the same? I don't know. So, and they're two different colors. And this is, 20% mohair, 20% wool, and 60% premium acrylic. It is 150 grams, 810 meters, and it is a fine tube. All right, one second. Okay, so I bought two cakes um, sets of the mohair and the two that I got are uh, let's see what was the name of
well, <laughs> I don't know which one this is, but it's pretty. And I bought it because it has the greens. But I bought these with the idea of making something for fall that was kind of autumn coloring. So I found this one. Let's put it here. So a lot of green and some brown in it. Which is really pretty together. And then it is... Uh, I did say it's a tube, right? Yeah. Okay. So again... I wouldn't call that a two. I'd say that's more of a one, but I like it. I think it's very pretty. So I got two of these in the bag. And then the other one I picked up was this one, which is a little more washed out on the camera because the sun's coming in, but it's got some lighter tans and greens and kind of a, kind of a rusty orange in there. So it's a nice color. Now, I know people don't like um, ice because they're just like, oh, the shipping is so lot. And yeah, the shipping can be costly. I will not lie. But if you give me a second, I will tell you how much everything per ball cost me. So one second. Okay, so. <clears throat> Did some quick figuring. <coughs> Excuse me. So, oh my goodness sakes. Hold on one sec. Alright, so. I'm not going to tell you how much I spent. I'm just going to tell you how many balls I got. And how much it total is per ball. Because even though you are doing it by, um, how do I want to put it? <laughs> Even though you're paying a certain price per, it breaks down the shipping wise per ball. So I bought 60, 66, I bought 26 balls of yarn and divided that into what I spent. And it comes out to 2.69 cents per ball. That means the cake yarn only cost me 2.69 cents. Or $2.69. I don't know where I'm getting that. So that's that's a good deal. You know, when you when you think of it this way. And this yarn is very soft, and I have to say I love everything I got from them and I got it really fast because I placed this order back on let me see here when did I place my order it doesn't say there But I placed it, hold on, <laughs> sorry. It's one of those things of you're like, oh, I know this, and then you don't have the right name. <laughs> but I want to say I placed it like on the, twenty four. And today is the 31st, and I got it two days ago. So, yeah. And I didn't pay, um, the, the way they have it set up is, at least for Americans that I saw, the express shipping was cheaper than the regular mail. So, I bought the express shipping and I got it in a very, very decent amount of, a turnover and that's including a weekend in there so you know not bad at all I would definitely um well I'll put it this way I will definitely order again from ice 
um, I'll try some different yarns again. I would like to get some more, um, I think I want to get some more of the sparkle yarn. I definitely am going to try some more of this, um, mohair because it's nice. Very nice feel. And if they ever get any more colors in, I'd like to try some more of this. This is so soft, which I can see why everyone wants it so much because it is insanely soft. So yeah, for me, ice is a definite thumbs up. Sorry that my voice and my level of <laughs> excitement today isn't normal. I'm just trying to say my voice. Don't want to, you know, got a lot of recording to do. I almost said taping. Did you see that? But yeah, that's it for today. So that was my ice yarn haul. My very first one was excited about my two subscriptions from the UK. So I, everything I showed to you today was across the pond. But yeah, I definitely would buy ice again, without a doubt. I really, I really have to say I was impressed with what I got. Um, the turnaround was insane. I'm not used to that because like usually when I order like Hobie, I figure three weeks usually, which is fine. Usually I'm not ordering something I need like right away. If I don't have it, I'm going to screw up my project type thing. <clears throat> Excuse me. My throat. Sorry, I had to look at my order for something else. <laughs> That's coming today. But yes, that was it. So if you liked what you saw and you weren't too annoyed with me being so quiet today, I do apologize. I normally am much more lively and I, I have more, you know, energy. It's not that I don't have energy, it's just it's hard for me to keep my voice calm if I'm being all bouncy. You know what I'm saying? So, oh my gosh, I'm saying so a lot, aren't I? I hope you liked what you saw. I hope you'll return. Please consider giving me a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Leave a comment. Both of those really help out so much with the algorithm. And of course, subscribe because it's free and it doesn't hurt. And it takes like two seconds to do. And we do have a lot of stuff going on. I have a lot of stuff coming up that I have planned for my channel and the biggest share of it is going to start in June. So yeah, exciting times to be a Fluffy Boots, Boots subscriber. I don't know what I, where it's going now. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to say bye-bye for now. And I hope to see you again soon. Bye, friends.